Breaking news. If it bleeds, it leads. In your news today... You are now tuned in to Dirty Laundry Media. Stand by. I just had to share one example of many of the criminal lies that's told on my name on a daily basis. Clearly, this is a drug deal taking place on text message with my name being used to seal a deal that I have no knowledge of or involvement in, in no capacity. These type of made up scenarios and lies are the type of excuses the feds uses to constantly harass me and try to incriminate me by the use of another person's action. Because when they arrest them, they will lie on you. Let me say something to you clowns who in my opinion lie on my name and who are trying to set me up. In my opinion, some of y'all are doing things out of ignorance and others like Daryl D. Town Lewis, Ronald Bookman and Sylvester Brown are in my opinion snitching, trying to get themselves ahead in life or out of trouble. There's a movement by some rogue FBI agents and federal prosecutors that have a hate J. Prince racism disease. So once again, just like the rogue DEA agents I wrote about in my book, The Art and Science of Respect, that recently got arrested in Louisiana, no one believed me in Texas or did anything about them until over a decade later. It took Congresswoman Maxine Waters and the late great Janet Reno to put a spotlight on the rogue DEA agent's actions. These fearless women were criticized by politicians because they recognized the injustice being done and intervened before anyone else was smart enough to even realize they were dealing with crooked agents. To this day, no one wants to accredit these women for their forward movement. But I do, because their involvement possibly saved my life. It took prosecutors in Louisiana to catch them, thanks to Prosecutor Tad Duray, for doing a great job on convicting Chad Scott. He ruined a lot of people's lives in Texas, along with his partner in crime, Jack Schumacher, who killed so many people that he admittedly lost count when he was asked under oath how many had he killed. I know this sounds like a movie, but this shit is real because I have been getting harassed all of my life by racist, hateful cops and agents. I've had drugs planted on me on two different occasions by dirty cops and had to beat those cases in court. I've had crooked hit men DEA agents, I believe, were assigned to me to take my freedom and my life. I've been extensively audited and harassed by the IRS on several occasions with no penalties. And now, it's the FBI falling in line with those dirty criminal tactics. So to all who have ears, hear this. I don't knock no man's hustle. But don't put my name in none of that law breaking shit. I have enough problems on my own. If you look past the color of my skin, I'm what you call a law abiding citizen. Yet, I pay millions in taxes for them to treat me like shit. Stay tuned. My goal is to teach and show the present and the future generations how the alphabets may change. DEA, FBI, HPD, IRS, but their goals and tricks stay the same to ultimately destroy us. It's me.